Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to Let's Play Some More Suits of Business RPG. Last time around, <laughs> uh, it, could just, it actually just hit me what was going on last time now that I think about it. We got to go take a tour of the factories with uh, with our lovely tour guide. What was his name? I think it was Guy, actually. <laughs> he took us through the factories of these, of these places down here <laughs> with all of the creepy ass malformed employees that they have in here which we found out later they're not even people they're just things that look like just deformed people <laughs> and so we went through there and we went into this next room and we were like there was like a whole bunch of them just walking around in a room with like these bins filled with bodies <laughs> and i was like making friends with all of them they were all really cool people and i went into this office where i had to fight against like a sentient remote control <laughs> and i killed it and then i went and pulled the kill switch and murdered them all <laughs> Oh, man, I still feel really bad about that, but, I mean, there's nothing we can do about it now. There's no sense in crying over spilt milk or <laughs> murdered bodies, because this is not Full Metal Alchemist, and we cannot transmute their bodies into a suit of armor to make them still be alive, because I don't even think they even had souls to begin with. So there we go. Hey, you shouldn't be here. Well, guess what? <laughs> that is the most normal-looking person that we have dealt with this entire game. I'm going to go right ahead and say... Trucker Tire. That is a very unfortunate name for this man. But hey, you know, he didn't really have control over that. Unless, you know, he legally changed his name to Tire, which would be very unfortunate. And his move was running me over. Seems fitting. And apparently, we cannot actually just, uh... Um... <laughs> we just can't staple him down, I guess. I guess, uh, I guess the fact that he is a Tire... Does not allow him to be stapled, but that's okay. We're, we're we're making it happen. And Jerome up to twelve. Nice. Oh, I need this to not be a stressful episode, even though I know that's asking a lot. But I have already had an insanely stressful day. I do I do not need. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> we have gone back to this not being normal anymore. Doctor Wheel Feet. Trucker Riggins. He has exhaust pipes coming out of his shoulders. What the hell is wrong with him? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. That is that is not okay. And we can't staple him down either. Oh, great. Yeah, dude, I actually had to... Um, you guys remember the car accident thing I told you about back in November? Fucking November. And um, I just got a call today, actually. Oh, I just realized what's going on here. Damn it! All right, that's okay. We got Riva Vivas. It's fine. It's 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 gonna be fine. Not really gonna be a big deal. Oh boy, unless he kills me too. Oh, and that's a realistic possibility. Come on, man. There it is. There's the crit. There's the clit commander right there. I don't don't know why I had to say that, but I said it anyways. Okay, let's. Uh oh, what the hell's going on? The food district. We have to raise the st ah oh, the stakes. Yes. I do enjoy when the stakes are raised onto my plate, even though they'd be raised and then lowered. Simultaneous action for both. Okay, so yeah, I told you that I told you guys about the whole thing with uh, with my car accident and how um, and how the people that I got in an accident with were like pursuing injury compensation like way after the fact I'm talking m like months afterwards when I was going two fucking miles an hour like at a speed that is virtually impossible to have sustained injury with what the hell is this <laughs> why why does it look like he's a glazed donut that's like melting in the frost like the glaze is sweaty and <laughs> he's just the donut man do you know the donut man? His glaze is running onto the floor. And he's paralyzed for good. He's gonna fucking die. Um, but yeah, so there's that. But I got a call from a special investigator today. And uh, he wanted to talk to me because after seeing pictures of my car and pictures of, of the other person's car... He wanted. No, he he decided that there's there's too many discrepancies between my story and their and like their damages, and so he wanted me to go through the process of giving him my statement again, because apparently the last two people that I talked to for some fucking reason. Ooh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be really good and a heavy case. Oh god, we're getting geared up for the. <laughs> 
we're uh, we're ready for the big ride, baby. You know, let's fucking do it. Um, so he wanted me to go through the whole thing because the last two claims adjusters I talked to, neither one of them decided to record the conversation. So everything that I had told them pretty much went for nothing. Super stupid. Okay, so let's go with the heavy case. That's going to be important. Damn, our attack went up 10. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm super down with that. Super suit up in the defense there. And super tie. Sick. This is good. These are all very good things. However, nothing for Jerome, though. Not a, not a damn thing for him. He's just got to roll, roll with, the, with the fuel. Well, that's okay, I suppose. Another donut, man. We won't deal with that. <coughs> Um, so yeah, I had to I had to go through the process of doing all of that again, and uh, just like the possibility that there may be this whole thing with you know if they end up not believing my story or you know my stuff ends up not you know working with uh, with all that I'm gonna end up potentially having to pay more. Who knows? I would stop you, but I'm on break. Okay, are you gonna be off break if I turn the security off? I guess so. He's just like, ah, fuck it. I'll deal with it later. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. But yeah, it's just, it's a matter of, like, the people, like, the, the way that it sounds, because I saw pictures of the other of the other people's car, and what it looks like is that they're totally trying to exaggerate the damage, and I think that they intentionally damaged their car further to try to make it look like I was lying. What is up with this guy's arm? Meet Kid Want Linguini! Okay. Am I supposed to give him Linguini, or what? what's the deal? He wants Linguini. Well, what about all those clams? I picked up like a thousand clams a minute ago. What's up with that? Was that even a thing? No. There's just... Oh, yeah, there's still that sack of oregano. <laughs> it's a dank O of oregano. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um... But yeah, dude, it looks it looks shady. Cause like when I collided with that dude, I was only going like a maximum two miles an hour. And this dude's got like all these different like scuffs that couldn't have possibly come from me. He's got like all of these fucking like puncture things in his bumper, and like his license plate cover was all destroyed and shit, and there's like no way I could have done any of those things. And now he's trying to pin all that crap on me. It's like, oh no, you don't, you little sly fucking busted cock ring. I will not have any of it. Okay, let's... No. <sighs> let's go up here first. Take this other room. We, app we apparently need to find Dr. Greenback. Dr. Dollar? You have to help me! I was part of a special team of scientists that were studying sentience in plant life. One of our experiments went wrong. And three of my colleagues were turned into vegetables. This is a threat to national security. Chop them and dice them. I'm sure they would make a nice super salad. Okay. You got any linguine in here by chance? It's a self-service fruit and vegetable buffet. That actually sounds really good right now. So yeah, dude, it just that that whole scenario of these fuckers trying to screw me over is is not okay with me, and I'm I'm really it's just I've had a headache about it all day. And it's not good. Brock Lee. Ha <laughs> ha! Tink tink tink. Uh, we vegetables must be the only ones on the food pyramid. Do you wish to join us? No? Well, you must perish. Oh my god. Oh my god, they look like failed science experiments. <laughs> I mean, they, they kind of are, but... Oh my dear god, that is not good. Okay, so let's do a case toss on... I guess all of them. I guess they're all one being here. And then we'll, uh, st we'll give them the big staple storm. Staple storm three. Baby! Ooh, 386. That's a that's a big move right there. <laughs> Unfortunately, we used up all of our of our stuff. <laughs> so let's do this. Um, let's give them a smoke bomb just to make it harder for them to hit us. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. But we'll uh, we'll also give him one uh, one uh, one and odd Jack Bandit here. Here we go. These guys are too powerful. <laughs> oh, I should have known. I should have known. Food Force Assemble! Oh my god, that's so disgusting. What the hell did they turn into? 
What is that thing? And why does it have a pentagram on its forehead? With a fork in its skull and a weird eyeball coming out of its chest. I don't like any of that. The <laughs> super salad. <laughs> oh my god, this is too funny. I love this game. <laughs> it's so stupid. He just tossed he just tossed my salad! <laughs> Is that what I read? I really hope that's what I read. Because that makes that that move way funnier. Please let that be it. I guess I'll find out in it. He gives you some soup. <laughs> Soups on baby. <laughs> that's funny. Oh my god. This game is just nuts. Soups on baby. Uh, he keeps poisoning the wrong man. He's poisoning the already poisoned. He, t <laughs> he did toss the salad. Oh, that those gross bastards. Those gross bastards. But yes, not even a super salad can withstand the pain and agony of getting hit by a briefcase in the face. <sighs> oh my god, lots of sandwiches. We failed. Super salad? I actually usually always get salad. <laughs> even though I'm not a huge salad guy, I generally always get salad for some reason. Okay, so all these guys are now dead. What's my prize? Linguini by chance? I, I do have to give that, that deranged man in the in the freezer some linguini. Only some people have developed the ability to talk to plants. Well, I was apparently one of them, because uh, I was able to understand them quite well, actually. Okay, so how about... How about a tasty sandwich for me and for him? And then also a bottle of water for the young lad here. There we go. Okay, we came out of that all right. So yeah, dude, just uh, it been a been a rough day overall, but th this is actually helping quite a lot. This uh, I've I've gotten a couple of laughs today. I've had very minimal amounts of those. <laughs> Burger, it's probably edible. <laughs> Food, you should eat it. You should. I don't know why, but those hot dogs and burgers remind me of the uh, remind me of the Pizza Planet level in Toy Story for Super Nintendo. I don't know why. It just does. See, oh, it's the CEO chef. Oh shit. Lone Renzo just passed by. He told me that I would have myself that I would have myself a treat. Uh oh. Oh my god, he's so huge. Jesus! And he has a man on a leash! Oh my god. That is a Leviathan of a man. Like, that's the kind of thing where I'd I'd punch him in the stomach and his stomach would like like consume my hand whole. That is so gross. I'm going to try to staple your fat down somewhere, and it worked, apparently. Oh my god. That is just one of the most heinous visuals I think I have ever seen. But we're just going to keep wailing away on his jowls here for a moment, while we still can. I mean, we're, we're building it up. This is this is good. Um, let's see, Case Toss 2 at 65. Let's actually take some coffee. We do still have coffee, don't we? I thought we did. We apparently do not. Um, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. You know what? I'm gonna go with steroids. We haven't taken steroids yet in this game, and I'm gonna fucking do it. Oh yes, oh yes. Hmm. That's okay. All right. Oh, now, now it's on. <laughs> Give the man the big one and staple him down again. Ooh, yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's funny how, like, we can get the staple downs on... We can get them on the bosses, but we can never seem to get them on, like, some of just the random mobs for, like, no reason. Another spectacular sandwich that is probably, like, half-eaten, because he was just chowing down on that shit. Do you wish to get some soup? Yes. You got some soup. Now, what is soup good for? D did they ever... No? Hmm. It must just be for something. I don't even know. Maybe it's like a special item of sorts. Oh, you know what? I need to talk to that little miniature man up here. What's what's his deal? Hey, thanks. You know, you ain't so bad. Chef Boy Artie. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god, he's huge. <laughs> I didn't realize that soup was filled with like anabolic steroids or apparently the same spinach that Popeye was eating. <laughs> That's crazy. It's just broth, man. What kind of what kind of soup was that? That must have been Campbell, like the Campbell's Hardy soups that they used to always have in those football commercials. Where the, the guy's mom comes in. What about the trash? Is there going to be anything in here? You looked through the trash and found... This game. 
That's funny. Taking, taking stabs at yourself, I understand. You look through the trash and found this game. Apparently this game has been thrown in the trash multiple times in different places. I feel like one of these trash cans might have something else in it, though. I'm just going to check for the sake of checking, because you never know. This water cooler seems to be malfunctioning and dispensing hot water instead. <laughs> what would you even do with hot water? You can make coffee out of that. I mean, it's not, not all is lost there. Um, it's not as bad as the time that I went to a Chinese restaurant and I, uh, my friend asked for, my friend asked for an ice cold water and she brought him a, a cup of hot water. So funny. It looks like someone poured some ocean orangutans into this water cooler. What the hell are ocean orangutans? Alright. Alright, here we go. Nothing like some good old-fashioned water gorillas. Alright, here we go. Oh, we're outside now. Oh, and there's... Okay. Well, wait a minute. What about the, the, the thing with the guy and the stuff? Ah, fuck it. Whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just gonna go here. Oh, nope. Let's go through the crack here first, and then we'll go save. How's about it? We have a note that we can just slide to, because <laughs> the floor's just made of, like, some sort of oily mess. Memo 722B. I buried me treasure in this here room. Those dastardly dogs at the Burger Baron will never find me secret pizza plans. I don't know if that was really his, his voice or not, but I feel like it had to be. Okay, so his secret treasure is in that room, but how do we get to it? That's the better question. And why are there so many hot dog stands here? Huh, interesting. Well, I think we got our work cut out for us next time, I think so. Because, when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Suits of Business RPG, we are now in the food district. And so we're going to go talk to the, to the citizens around here and see what exactly this particular place has in store. So until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. I think after I upload this thing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe, uh, I don't know, go make myself some popcorn and lay in bed or something, because <laughs> I still have that headache. It's just not as bad as it was earlier. So, you guys take it easy. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.